I was interested to see the New York Times asking whether we should cancel the ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle. I think it's a really interesting question. It's actually one I've given some thought to. In fact, I took this question up in my recent book, The Age of Selfies, which was published earlier this year. The argument in favor of doing away with Aristotle basically begins with the premise that he was a product of his own culture, which was in many ways, from our perspective, racist and sexist. He believed in fundamental inequality that was grounded in human nature, sexual inequality and slavery, for example. He lived in a society that did evil practices, that enslaved other people, that often committed genocide, that uh, didn't allow freedom of choice in marriage and in other important life decisions. And so from this, many people draw the conclusion that Aristotle, as a product of this corrupt culture, must himself have been morally corrupt, and we don't have anything valuable to learn from him. On the other hand, Aristotle himself gave us the tools to evaluate critically moral ideas, to discern true from false and right from wrong. So the irony of the argument for canceling Aristotle is that it employs tools that Aristotle himself gave us, tools such as logic, reasoning about justice, what we owe each other, and the common good. Even language, the accusation against Aristotle, for example, that he was a pedophile, uh, employs Greek terms, uh, pedo and philia. Uh, being terms relating to children and to, to love. So there's a recognition then that Aristotle actually contributed something of value to us. This might cause us to also reflect on our own moral failures, the ways in which we ourselves are products of our own culture, which might be corrupt in ways that we don't recognize just as Aristotle's culture was corrupt in ways that he himself did not recognize. What's interesting about Aristotle actually is that he rose above his culture's failures. He rose above the racism that was prevalent during his day to articulate certain universal truths about human nature, truths that were later picked up by Christian thinkers such as St. Paul and the Emperor Justinian and Aquinas and William Wilberforce and others to argue for the eradication of slavery, to make the argument that human beings are inherently and equally morally valuable. So without Aristotle, we might actually not have the ability to criticize Aristotle's own moral failures or to see the ways in which we ought to act justly in our own time. Maybe we shouldn't be quite so hasty to cancel Aristotle after all. For more understanding of law, rights, and each other, see my new book, The Age of Selfies, Reasoning About Rights When the Stakes Are Personal. And visit my website, www.adamjmcleod.com.